Hello everyone, uh, it's me, Victoria Montefusco. I am filming a video on this channel for the first time in over a year. I know, this is crazy. Um, life just got a bit busy, I'll be honest, and things just got a bit crazy. But today, um, I just wanna do a quick like catch up video, basically apply some makeup, tell you about some makeup products I've been really enjoying over the past year when I've been gone. Um, and yeah, just catch you up on everything that's been going on in my life and really why I haven't been posting videos recently. So if you're interested in that, please keep on watching. All right, so as always, I'm gonna start off with the brows. So I've actually been enjoying some Benefit brow products recently. Um, so I've been using uh, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil as well as the Precisely My Brow Pencil and also this brow gel, which the name of it, I guess I wore off. Um, but the colors I'm using, the shade I'm using is shade number three, which I think is like their light brown shade. Um, but anyways, this is really nice. This is really good brow stuff. I never got into Benefit before, but I really do like their stuff. So I always start, you know, with a little brow spoolie and then we go in and, you know, do the brows. So I thought I would just, you know, take some time today before getting back into like normal YouTube makeup, lifestyle, beauty, whatever content, and just give you all an overview of like where I've been, what my life's been like, etc. So really, I wasn't planning on stopping to film YouTube videos. It just kind of happened. Um, life got a bit busy and stressful, you know. Uh, I was working full time, also was in grad school part time, um, and it was just hard to find time not so much to film, but to edit. Editing, I feel like, is the hardest thing, especially for me where, you know, I'm not the most natural editor or great editor in the world. So it was just hard to find that time and I would find myself getting stressed by promising, you know, three videos a week or two videos a week. And instead of, you know, cutting back expectations or prioritizing time for it or whatever, I just kind of stopped. Um, and you know, I think that break was good for me. I think overall I needed a little bit of a break just from feeling like this was more of a burden and, you know, something I had to do versus something that was fun to do because that was always my goal. My goal is never to make this a, a job at all. My goal was always to have fun and find a community. So once this started not being fun, that's when I knew I needed a break. Um, and so that's really where I've been. But yeah, I'm done with grad school now. I just graduated last week from my master's program in management information systems. So grad school is done, finally. <laughs> it was a two year long program. And yeah, since that's done, and I mean, I'm still working full time, but the grad school piece is done. I do feel like I have a lot more free time and so I can prioritize YouTube if I want to. All right, so now brows are done. I always go into eyes next. So I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Labs Mothership 10 Moonlit Sedu Seduction Palette. Man, it is hard to get used to talking on camera again. Um, I don't really use my Pat McGrath palettes nearly enough. And actually I've done quite a big declutter. Obviously that was off camera um, within the last couple of months where I decluttered a ton of my Pat McGrath Motherships. But this is one of the ones that stayed because I mean, look at this color story. It's just really pretty. Um, I know Pat always releases like these pinks and golds, but for some reason, this was one of the ones that stood out to me. So I got it. Um, I'm not getting the, the newest mothership. I think that one's way too repetitive. So there's no way I'm getting that. Plus I've heard some interesting, and when I mean interesting, I mean bad things about the formula. Like it seems like she may have changed um, her formulas for her special shades in that palette. And I love the Blitz Astral formula. So if she changed it and it's worse, which it seems like is what happened, then I'm really not interested. So I'm just priming my eyes with the Milani eyeshadow primer. This has been a holy grail product of mine for probably five plus years. I mean, I've, this is the only eye primer that does not make my eyeshadow crease and that makes it last all day. So big fan of that. So I'm going to take this matte shade in the top row and I'm just gonna take a fluffy crease brush and we're just gonna blend that out and I'm just gonna chat some more. So yeah, a lot of things have changed in my life over the past year. Uh, for starters, I have a new job at a new company. 
Um, so about four months ago, um, I left my former employer, um, you know, on, on great terms, actually. Um, I just found a different opportunity and wanted to experience a different industry and just get some more diverse experience. So um, I started a job as a senior financial analyst at a property management tech company. So I thought that would be really interesting because it ties in my grad degree, which is management information systems with my undergrad, which was in finance. Um, so it was just a really good match. So yeah, that com that, that job, the company, it's been, it's been going well so far. Um, you know, I feel like at the three to four month mark is when you finally start to like get used to things and not feel like you're useless <laughs> anymore. <laughs> and that's what's kind of happening. I actually feel like I know something now. So that's nice. All right. And I'm going to take this brown mat. I'm just going to take a packer brush and pack that onto my outer corner. So this was my first time actually changing companies. I had been at the same company since I was an intern in undergrad and it was hard to leave. I'll admit, um, I made a lot of friends when I was there. I was there for five years. Um, I cried. <laughs> I did cry, especially when I was telling certain people over you know, video chat, I was, I was crying. So it was a hard decision, but I think it was the right one. Um, and so far I'm really happy with how things have been panning out in my career. Um, and just how much growth I've been able to have and how I've been able to develop. So overall, overall, it, I think it was a good thing, but doesn't mean it wasn't a hard decision. Something else that also happened this year, um, we adopted another dog. <laughs> so now we have two dogs. So Ella is our golden doodle. She's five years old. Um, and then we adopted a dog from a local animal shelter and her name is Riley. And she's just a mixed breed of a lot of different things. <laughs> I'll probably like pop a picture of her and like both of the dogs in here, but oh my God. She, when we got her, we were just like, oh, she's probably like Corgi and some sort of terrier. Because they told us she was some sort of terrier mag. Um, and you know, that's probably about it. Uh, no, <laughs> she's, she's a lot. We did one of those dog DNA tests and uh, it said that she is what we, what we have dubbed her as a Chow Chaborka Manali. Um, and what that basically means is she's Chow Chow, Chihuahua, Beagle, Yorkshire Terrier, German Shepherd, uh, and I'm probably missing something. Border Collie, and I think that's it. <laughs> She's a lot of different things. Uh, yeah, her DNA is weird, and I don't know how all that turned into what she is, but somehow all that equals very cute. Um, and she's just been a lot of fun. I feel like she's added a good amount of play and mental stimulation into Ella's life. And she's just been really good for us because she's just really loving and really sweet, like Ella is too. Um, she's very cuddly. She loves to give kisses. She's just a goof. She's just really funny. Um, and so she just makes our lives, you know, a little bit better. I mean, Ella, we were already a complete family without her and with Ella, but we wanted Ella to have a buddy. Ella's always been a very social dog um, and she likes to play with other dogs a lot. So Riley was definitely a good playmate. And Riley's only one. So we adopted Riley in early December when she was about six months old, they think. And now she's one. So she's she's still a baby, like she's still a puppy. So now I'm gonna take this mat in the bottom here. It's like this rosy mat. I'm just gonna take this sort of like thin brush and we're just gonna emphasize the crease some more. I also blended out my outer corner when I was talking about the doggies so yeah <laughs> uh what else has gone on in my life um still living in the same place same house still with the same per same person uh we have been in a relationship for six years now so that's a long time um but yeah everything's going well there too um he's been very supportive of me starting up the youtube channel again because he's like, well, now you're done with grad school and that was your excuse to, you know, be stressed and not have as many hobbies. So what are your hobbies going to be? <laughs> I was like, well, maybe I should start up the YouTube channel again. 
So yeah, he's been very supportive of that, which has been great. Um, yeah. All right, and as always, gonna take my glitter glue. This is from NYX. And I'm just gonna put this on the part of my eyes where I do not have mattes. And we're gonna get into the Blitz Astral shades. So that's gonna be fun. A couple of other things that are going on too is uh, I have a friend that's getting married in October, which is really exciting. She's actually been on my channel a couple of times before and uh, she, I'm actually a bridesmaid for the first time in my life. So that's gonna be really fun. Um, we're actually leaving to go on her bachelorette trip in a couple of days from when I'm filming this. So I planned her bachelorette trip. It's gonna be a good time. We're going to like Charleston, South Carolina. And yeah, I'm just really looking forward to like a nice girls trip vacation kind of thing. I've never really had a girls trip before. Um, normally when I travel, it's been with like immediate family or with my partner. So yeah, I think this is gonna be really, really fun. But I'm starting to pack. Because today is, when I'm filming this, it's a Sunday and we're leaving on Wednesday. And I just get really stressed when it comes to packing. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, all the stuff I have to pack. And not only do I have to pack things I normally would pack for a beach trip, I also have to pack decorations for the Airbnb. I have to pack the t-shirts for the people that are attending the trip and all this stuff, all this stuff. So it's just more than normal. And I've never planned like a bachelorette trip before, like a bachelorette party. And it's a little stressful, but I think it's gonna go well. <laughs> All right, I know I was chatting a lot. So the two Blitz Astrals I used were these two on the top row, the, the last shade and the second to last shade. So I used those and just put those on my lids. And of course it looks beautiful. So now it's time for eyeliner. I'm going to take this Idol Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> it's from Lancome. I got it as like a deluxe sample, but it's really, really nice. I'm just gonna take that and we're just gonna line uh, the lid you know, like you normally do with eyeliner. Yeah, eyeliner, I always like to do off camera, not talking because it's just a lot of pressure, especially when you do like a little wing like I did today. So now I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. This is like my holy grail. Um, it has two sides, it has a curling and lengthening side and a volume side. So I always start with the curling lengthening side and then go to the volume side. This is my favorite mascara I've ever tried personally, um, but yeah. I've, I've tried a lot of mascaras in my day and my lashes I would say are like medium long. They're not like the most beautiful lashes in the world, but they're not short and stubby by any means. So I feel like this works well for my lashes. All right, eyes are done for now. So now it's time for face and I am going to use this Valentino primer. It's the V Lighter Primer. Um, Lauren May Beauty here on YouTube really likes this and Therefore I tried it and got influenced and I quite like it too. It's pretty good. It just adds a very nice naturally glowy look to the skin. And especially if you have a foundation that's a bit more on the mattifying or satiny side and you want it to have a bit more glow, this is a really good product for that. So you'll see once I, you know, get this on my face, just how much of a natural glow this gives. It's really, really pretty. I can also see this as like a spot highlighter. If you like something very subtle, like a spot, like liquid highlighter, but I, I like a bit more of a dramatic highlighter, <laughs> but I've really been enjoying that product in particular. And next, another product I've really been enjoying. This one's pretty new. Um, it's the Hourglass uh, to like tinted moisturizer. And what's it called? It's called the Hydrating Skin Tint Veil. And I have mine in the shade one, which is the lightest shade. So basically how I apply this is I shake it up because it's really liquidy and then I just put it on my sponge, dab it all over the face and blend and just gives a really nice natural light kind of coverage. Really great for summer when you're, you know, all sweaty and you just don't want anything super full coverage. Um, so that's what I'm going to wear today. Because I'm actually going out with some friends tonight. And even though it's a Sunday night, we're not doing anything crazy. We're going to a local wine bar that opened up a few months ago here in Knoxville. And uh, I just, you know, want a nice makeup look that's not nothing too difficult, nothing, you know, extreme or, or new or exciting, but just something that looks pretty nice, natural. 
And so this is kind of the coverage I'm going for here. So something else I also want to discuss with you all is really the future of this channel. I just want to make sure I set, you know, appropriate expectations from you all. So you all know what to expect from me. Um, and really what I'm trying to do is just film when I'm inspired, post when I'm inspired to. I know that's not the best thing for the algorithm, but I think that's just going to be the best thing for me and to get the best kept content out of me that you can and for you all, you know? So if you want to know when I post, make sure you have that bell ringed for those post notifications. Um, I anticipate probably not, not a lot of people are going to watch this video. This is just to get ready with me. I haven't posted in so long and so YouTube isn't going to push this out. But I'm not trying to be the next influencer. I'm not trying to be famous or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to have fun and just find some people that enjoy this hobby of mine too. Um, and so yeah, it doesn't matter how much this is pushed out. Next, I'm gonna take my favorite concealer of the moment, which is this Hourglass Concealer. I love this stuff. And this is in shade Birch, and this is their Vanish Concealer. So I'm just gonna do the normal spots where I have issues around the nose, chin, between the eyebrows, a little bit on the forehead, that kind of thing. So I'd love to know from your all's perspective, you know, since I haven't connected with you all in over a year, what kind of content do you like to watch on YouTube? What do you want to see from my channel in the future? You know, what, what are you looking for, basically? Because I'm not planning on, you know, going too far out of the kind of content I've been doing. You know, maybe if I'm really inspired to, I might try something really different. But for now, this is the plan. But what kind of content in this space do you like to see? Do you like to see first impressions? Do you like to see reviews? Do you like to see anti-hauls or what I'm gonna buy and what I'm not gonna buy? Do you like to see collaborations with friends and family? Uh, what Do you wanna see more of my dogs? <laughs> like, what, what do you wanna see? Because I wanna make sure that what I'm posting is actually resonating. Whoops. Oh, oh no. I dropped everything. All right, what was I saying before the chaos? I wanna make sure that what I'm posting is actually resonating with you all. And whatever that is, I guess I'll, I'll maybe try to figure out a way to post it if it's something I wanna to do too. Um, but yeah, like what do you wanna see? Cause I've been really into indie makeup and I post a lot of those kinds of videos on my channel. I've been really into luxury makeup, post a lot of those kinds of videos on my channel. Never really delved in the drugstore ever, but you know, maybe that's something you all want to see. And if so, let me know. All right, next I'm gonna take this Tower 28 Sculptino bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. I have this in the shade Broad, and I've just been really enjoying this bronzer. It's really nice. And I have this Farah brush that I take. It's the C350, and I just take it all over the brush, just like boom, 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 boom. I just put it on the perimeter of my face, you know, where the sun would normally hit. All your normal bronzer stuff. Something else makeup related, which this brush reminded me of actually, is uh, I get BoxyCharm now every month, just as I like to try new makeup products. And then also their sales are phenomenal. Like when they have stuff in their shop, man, you can get some good deals. So if you wanna see like monthly BoxyCharm reviews or, you know, me talking about what's on the BoxyCharm store, like what I'm surprised is there, what I'm not surprised is there, or what I'm interested in. Let me know too. That's another video idea I've been having. All right, and next I'm going to do my under eyes. So I'm going to take that same Hourglass concealer. But before I do that, I'm going to take this Chanel color corrector. This is the Le Corrector de Chanel in the color Rose. And then I'm going to set all of that with this powder right here which is the Dominique Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder in Translucent. I've been really enjoying this powder. I think I actually got this from BoxyCharm as well. Um, it's, it's a good powder. And sometimes I have a hard time finding under eye setting powders that are actually decent and don't crease under my eyes and don't dry out my under eyes because Lord knows I have dry under eyes. So yeah, it's pretty good. Something else I've been trying to do too over the past year is be more consistent with the skincare routine. Um, I, you know, do not have problematic skin, like, at all, so, you know, feel very blessed for that. <laughs> um, my skin is 
very not acne prone, not sensitive. It's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty manageable. Um, the only thing I have that I find annoying is some dryness, especially under my under eyes. Um, but, uh, most of the time my skin is normal to dry and, you know, very pale. <laughs> so basically I've been using a lot of peach and lily products, you know, obviously not sponsored, I'm not sponsored by anyone. Um, and I've just been really enjoying their products. I got like one of their intro sets that has the toner and the glass skin serum and the moisturizer. And I also bought the spray and all their stuff is just really good and just really agrees with my skin. Um, and I've just been really enjoying it. But the only thing I haven't been able to find some success with is like a good moisturizing under eye like cream or some serum or something. Because basically like right in here is where I get my dry patches under my eyes and then that tends to you know crease and crepe when I put on my under eye concealer no matter what it is and then throughout the day I just look old <laughs> I just look older than I am you know so if you all have any recommendations for you know good uh like under eye creams or serums or something or if you have a better suggestion for an under eye concealer if you have dry under eye or under eye powder really anything let me know <laughs> because that's been like my one makeup struggle is I do not have my under eye routine down. But I like the products I'm using. I think they're good, but I know there's probably something better out there for my dry under eyes. And I just don't know what it is. I don't know if I need to change the skincare routine. I don't know if I need to change the makeup products, both. Like, what is it? So let me know. All right, so let's go back to the eyeshadow palette and we're just gonna do the inner corner, the brow bone, underneath the eyes, and then the eyes will be done. Woohoo! So I'm gonna take this light, it looks white in the pan, but I think it's like an iridescent kind of shade. It's a Blitz Astral. And we're just gonna put that in the inner corner and in the brow bone. Or underneath the brow bone, I guess. That looks really pretty. I don't use my Pat McGrath Mothership palettes nearly as often as I should, but every time I use them, I'm just like, ooh, it looks so pretty. Just love the texture of the Blitz Astrals. They just look gorgeous on the eye. Now I'm gonna take this little pencil brush and I take that same matte shade that I did originally in my crease right there. We're just gonna smudge that under the eyes and then I think we'll be done with the eyes. Not with the whole look. <laughs> We're getting there though. We're almost there. All right. So that's it for the eyes. And now it's time to do the rest of the face and then we're done. So I'm going to take this Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder Foundation. I actually just use this as a setting powder and I find it works really well. I'm going to take my Equal Tools Powder Brush. This is actually what I've been using as a mirror the entire time pretty much. And we're just going to pat that all over the face to set the face. I do like a dewy finish, but I also need to make sure my face is set or else, you know, things just move around. So and I especially like to focus on my smile lines because that's where I definitely get the most creasing in my foundation. And basically anywhere I've spot concealed, just put a little extra over there. So see with the brush, you know, and this product, even though it's a matte product, it still leaves some dewiness to the skin. So I really like how this looks and sets my face. Next up, blush. I'm going to take this blush. This is the Too Faced Cloud Crush blush in the shade Velvet Crush. I used to be such a hater of Too Faced. I, I still kind of am, I guess. They're kind of boring. <laughs> um, and some of their packaging and names of their products is kind of weird. But sometimes when they hit it out of the park, oh man, they really do. Because sometimes they have just like cute packaging like this with a little heart. Oh, I love it. And little, oh, that's so cute. Um, and you know, the names of their products sometimes are really cute and just the branding can be really cute. They're, they're very hit and miss for me. So, uh, but recently they've been putting out a lot of hits. I have this, the highlighter I'm going to be using is also Too Faced. Um, I bought two of their eyeshadow palettes recently and they're like pretty good actually. 
And I used to really hate their eyeshadow palettes because I thought, I thought they were boring and just brown, and, you know, which they still do. But their products have been good, like actually really good. And I'm kind of surprised. And I'm just like, am I becoming basic or are they getting better? <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. And again, nothing wrong with basic. I just like... You know, so I, I like to really play and have fun and just try a bunch of new stuff with makeup. I know not everybody's into that. So this is what the blush looks like. And I'm basically just going to take this brush, blush brush I have. This is from Odin's Eye. It came with one of their releases. It was double-ended, but the other end broke. But I really like this blush brush. And I'm just going to take this and we're just going to put this on the cheeks. And I'm going to move it up to the hairline as well. Like up the temple which I've been really enjoying this blush placement. I used to only do like apples of the cheeks, but now I do apples of the cheeks all the way up to the temples. And I just feel like it looks very flattering on my cheeks. It's a look, it's a look. And now this highlighter, this highlighter is really, really good. Also Too Faced, like I really like this highlighter. It's really nice. This is the Too Faced Moon Crush uh, out of this world highlighter and it is out of this world it is whoo it is blinding but in like a very flattering nice way and I have this in the shade shooting star and again it has that little heart clasp how cute is that oh I just love it it's kind of hard to open especially when you have weak fingernails like me but that's just a me problem and then this is the shade and it is just the perfect natural champagne gold on me like even though I'm pale I feel like this just works look at that look at that Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and I was influenced to buy this because of Morgan Turner here on YouTube. She really likes this highlighter too. It comes in two shades. This is the lighter one and there's a darker shade, which obviously would not work for me. But if you have a darker, deeper tan skin tone, that looks like it would for you. And man, I'm glad she influenced me because this highlighter is stunning. I feel like this... This might be a controversial opinion. I feel like this could be like the new Champagne Pop in my collection, which I also have Champagne Pop. <laughs> I have the, you know, Becca highlighters that are now um, rebranded as like Becca, or not Becca. The Becca highlighters that are rebranded as Smashbox, like loves Becca, but I think I like this formula even better. I think it looks really nice. Almost done. Gotta do my setting spray. Rare Beauty setting spray. Love this stuff. I think this is my second or third bottle I have purchased. So that is a repurchase, which means I like it a lot. And last but not least, lips. So I'm gonna use this About Face lip product. What's it called? It's called the Lip Color Butter. And this is in the shade Ella. <laughs> Ella, oh. oh. Okay, never mind. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this is the About Face <laughs> Lip Color Butter. This is in either the shade Cherry Pick or Peach Punisher. I see both on here and I don't know what it's actually called. But it's like one of those clicky uppy pens and you just click it up and then you dab it on the lip. Which my lips are very chapped right now so hopefully this is fine on them. All right, so this is the completed look. I put my hair up in like a half up kind of situation, wearing some cute little earrings today from a local business. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video of just me catching up, talking to the camera, <laughs> telling you what's going on in my life, talking about some makeup products I've been enjoying using in the past year, that kind of thing. Um, like I said, please let me know what kind of content you wanna see on my channel. I'm always open to suggestions. And if I have seen a little, seemed a little bit awkward in this video, my apologies. I'm just trying to get used to talking to my phone again. But yeah, thank you all for watching um, and I will see you all next time, whatever that may be. Bye.